So I've been taking some footage and I'm probably gonna try and take more footage, but this is gonna be like kind of a mismatch of a bunch of stuff from before, during and after the uh, surgery. So um, just bear with me. It's like vlog style, I guess. Um, so yeah, like uh, wish me luck with that one. So I just got a box from Amazon. Um, I already had Hebaclens and bacitracin from something previous so i didn't have to buy that but they told me to buy nursing pads <laughs> to put on the incisions like underneath for any like leakage of blood or bodily fluids <laughs> and then i'm also i ordered a second compression bra for recovering it. They're gonna send me home in one, but I got another one because just from prior experience, I know like if you wanna wash one, it's nice to have one. Compression garments are so like important because you're swelling and it gives you like some relief. So this one is a large and it has the things i mean i still have like extra room in here so hopefully these will be filled but then this strap is supposed to like hold the implants down so that they don't like migrate up so it's sunday the oh god what is it the 29th <laughs> Two days before surgery, I am just kind of cleaning today and getting some stuff ready. Uh, I'm in pajamas, so sorry about that. No makeup, obviously. But uh, right now, I am actually going to change the sheets on the bed, even though I'm not going to be able to sleep in the bed for like a couple days. I just want them to be clean uh, when I do get to sleep in them. I know I could have hubs change them but he's gonna be doing so much stuff already to help me so i'm just gonna go ahead and change them so here we are only like two days from surgery and i'm still like i look at myself and i'm like what is it gonna be like to have like actual like tissue or mass there like look how i like i'm not even this tiny itty bitty little top I'm not even like filling it out at all but like what's it gonna be like to have like actual i don't know it's like it's so weird it's such i did this with the last one like i was like oh you know maybe i can just keep the tummy and just learn like let me just you know but i don't i don't know i don't know so these are the three things that i guess i need for this whole situation i told you already they suggested nursing pads for the incisions underneath the breast just for any excess bleeding or bodily fluids this is the heba cleanse this is an antiseptic soap so i have to shower with this uh the morning of i just like put it all over my neck and my chest and kind of really scrub it down but this will help you know antiseptic stuff and then this is the bacitracin this is kind of like a neosporin but it has like antibiotics built into it so this is probably what's going to be going over the incisions i think they're putting steri strips over them and then i guess i put this over top of that i'm not sure hopefully they will tell me what to do with that in my release papers but yep these are my three necessities also i have to have some colate <laughs> or coles or what people know as like stool softener because i will be on narcotics uh while recovery and it is really hard to poop so they said to go ahead and start taking that uh the night before so yeah that's so sexy guys now i am just getting ready to take my nail stickers off the nurse said that i need to have bare nails not allowed to wear any makeup perfume deodorant or anything like that so i'm gonna take the nail stickers off i'm also gonna paint my toenails um since i won't be able to do that for a minute hubs and i are just sitting watching ink master eating some snacks so i am going to self-care and prepare i 
I went with just a, like a strengthener treatment on my nails and did some cuticle oil. It's probably good for my nails to breathe just for a little bit. And then for my toes, I ended up doing like a goldy bronze because it like wears off nice, you know, if it starts to chip, it's not like as noticeable. So there you go. It's Monday morning, 4.23 in the morning. It's the day before and I am at the gym, about to walk in for my last session. I am going to do squats today, some cardio, but I'm going to really concentrate on mobility and stretching, uh, especially the chest wall since I will not be able to do that so gosh I can't believe it's happening tomorrow So I just took a shower and did my makeup. I'm getting ready for work. And maybe the last time that I have to wear pads in my bra, these are those like seamless, no, no wire or whatever. I get them at Target. They're like super comfortable, but they have like pads in them to give me like some shape. Oh, deodorant, that's nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, like right here is like a whole pad to give me something. But maybe I won't have to wear pads soon. It's Monday night. Tomorrow is the big day. Got home from work. I am just about to start dinner. But I thought maybe I could share uh, where I am going to be recovering. So this is the little area that we have set up. This is actually a recliner that my parents bought me for my tummy tuck surgery to recover in. It's an electronic one, so I wouldn't have to use any of my ab muscles to make the chair work. Um, they did say that I'm gonna wanna sleep in a sitting up position. So I'm still glad that we kept this all this time. My phone charger cord and a place to put my drink. We've got some extra blankets and pillows over here. And then I do have my little table with my favorite candle and of course a healing amethyst next to me this is where i'm going to be for the next couple of days and it's right next to the television so that's all oh hi jesse don't bark don't bark at me jack <laughs> Of the things that I was told I needed to do was get button down all the way down the front soft oversized shirts to wear to surgery and then for the follow-up day and just to relax around the house in general because I'm not gonna be able to pull anything over my head so they were like you have to get something super soft super big and buttons down on the front so now the decision of which one do I wear to surgery, which one do I wear to the follow-up day. Now my hubs thinks I'm not even gonna change. So he's like, you're gonna be in so much pain that you're not even gonna change. So just pick one. 
I'm thinking I might want to wear the pink to surgery and then I'll obviously leave in them in surgery and then I'm thinking about the gray for the follow-up day and then I'm thinking the men's green just to change into a clean set during the week because I'm not allowed to actually shower until Thursday so my surgery is on a Tuesday and then I can't shower till Thursday so I thought maybe when I get to shower I could change into these because by that time I think both of these will be kind of blah. It's Tuesday morning, day of. I obviously picked the gray and pink pajamas. I've got my little bag of stuff to take. We leave in about an hour. I showered, but I wasn't allowed to use like anything. So no makeup, no like even face lotion, no deodorant. So, like my face feels like super tight. Like I want to put lotion on it so bad plus i was not allowed to eat or drink anything after midnight last night so i'm super hungry it's almost 11. oh my stomach i am starting to get like super nervous i know i have been through worse but it's always like oh my gosh this is like a permanent modification like what is it gonna be like and i know that eventually it's gonna be good like i know it's gonna be worth it but man it is just it's high anxiety right now one minute away i am freaking out I am just about to get changed. Compression socks, regular socks, panties, hairnet, robe, and then I put all my clothes in here. This is, this is sexy, right? What's going on, hon? I'm scared. Yeah, I bet. My IV hurts. I'm scared of going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this is a short one though. Turns out the nurse is also getting boobs on Valentine's Day, so she is super excited and is super excited for me. Almost more excited than I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I feel confident about this. I'm sending you a very simple challenge. I would like you to create and should be exactly I'm supposed who you to are. eat. Very, very but I don't you feel like it. This is like the first thing that I'm eating because yesterday I was super nauseous. So I didn't get to eat anything yesterday. So I'm trying. So I am at my one day follow up. Um, it was pretty dramatic, traumatic yesterday. They had put my IV in and thought that it was in and was trying to give me the cocktail to like calm down. And it turns out that my vein was blown so nothing was getting in. And they didn't realize this until right before surgery, so they were trying to find another vein and it was horrific. I was laying on the operating table and I had two people holding one arm down, holding the other arm down, sticking me in my hands and my forearms and finally they had to put gas on me so that I just passed out until they found one but my husband said they almost had to put it in my foot so um but yeah I'm drawn up and uh I think I'm gonna get a first look at them today even though they're sitting pretty high honey how am I handling it pretty well I mean you've been through worse I've been so, through worse yeah but it's tough it's really swollen and 
I'm on Percocet and Valium and even then it's 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 something. <laughs> One of my best girlfriends dropped off some food for me. She did research on anti-inflammation after surgery, so she got me a chicken and walnut cranberry pumpkin seed salad and some pineapple. And then she gave me some of her homemade banana bread. So I'm like super grateful. She also brought me over some white lilies that I was able to put in my Killstar vase. So that brightened my day up a lot. So it's Thursday, second day post-op. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been sleeping in this chair a lot, like a lot, in and out, all day, all night. I try to get up like every couple of hours and just walk around the house to get the blood flowing. The dogs have succumbed to sitting with me. Jax couldn't take it anymore. He wanted to be by me and as long as I stay down here, I'm okay. But yeah, man, it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been rough. Totally watching Lauren May Beauty on YouTube while I lay here. Just want to say, these things are not very good. <laughs> I thought it would be an easy way for me to get some protein in, but they are pretty blah. And if you caught my Temu video, these are my iced coffee. This is my first coffee in, God, what, three days, I think? So I'm very grateful. Still have not gone number two yet. So waiting on that. All right, moved up to an egg and a slice of bacon and my pills and I'm also sitting on the big girl couch because I was sitting over there but I have migrated so things are looking up and up so I know it's Friday I was supposed to shower yesterday but I just didn't feel like it so today is actually going to be shower day and I think I'm gonna use the guest bathroom because we have one of those like removable head things god i'm tired if anybody is curious this is how they're looking right now they always look really weird at first because they're super like high like my nipples actually like right here <laughs> Uh, so it's going to take them a couple months to like drop down into the pocket to where they fluff out on the bottom. But so far, oh god, they hurt so bad. There's definitely something there. Oh god. Okay. I am in the car. Hubs is going to Target. <laughs> And I said I wanted to go since I was taking a shower. The shower was hard. It was really hard. I didn't think I was going to make it. And we decided I would not be going to Target while I was getting ready. But then my oxycodone kicked in. And now I feel like I want to go to Target. So, Hobbs is doing his best. And I am trying to feel like a normal human. But I swear when I was in the shower, I thought I fucking popped one of those bitches. And I thought everything was over. And it was a big mess. But the sun is out today. And I really wanted to start to feel like normal even though I totally do not 
at all. I don't feel normal at all. But look, I put on some makeup and my hair is clean, so it's the uh, small victories of life. I'm laying on a heating pad. It feels amazing. Alright guys, it is Saturday and I think I'm about to close this vlog out. Um, we are going to the movie theater, so I put on some makeup and I'm doing the best that I can. I'm about to close up this compression bra and put on a hoodie and take some oxycodone and hopefully leave reality for a little bit. But uh, I just want to say thanks for following me around and it is going to be a day by day process. So again, thank you for everybody that's been watching and um, I hope to see you soon. Hopefully being able to do a little bit more. Thanks guys. I love you.